today we're doing what kind of a school? We're going to backing school. Oh, Lord. Well, how did we get here? We are members of FMCA, your RVing family and RV club. And we're attending the Fiesta del Sol convention in Tucson, Arizona that happened between March 20th and 23rd. For those that don't know, FMCA is a large RV club. Almost a thousand RVs showed up for this convention. Some of the misconception from the name is Family Motor Coach Association, but you don't have to be a motor coach to be a member of this association. We are fifth wheelers and we love our membership with FMCA. There are lots of benefits to membership, tech support, connectivity support. A big one is the FMC Assist. It's an emergency medical evacuation coverage available to members worldwide as long as you are more than 75 miles away from home. If you are a full-time RVer, you are always considered 75 miles away from home. And because it's a large organization and club, you'll be able to save on tire purchases, get discounts on roadside rescue, which we have our RV insured through FMCA, traveler's insurance, pet insurance, health insurance. Too many discounts to list all right here. You'll have to go to their website, www.fmca.com. While at the convention, we even did a topic in one of the seminars on work camping in national parks. Back to the boondocking in the driving school. The RV Driving School was established in 1991 and has literally taught thousands of RV owners how to safely and confidently handle their recreational vehicles. Their mission statement is, your safety driving, your RV, we install the confidence you need to enjoy your RV. And with their and certified instructors that are throughout the United States, you're sure to find a location at one of your campgrounds that you can schedule a RV training that's convenient for you in your travels. What are you doing this morning, Miss Terry? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to backing up class with FMCA. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no more 40 minutes to get into a spot <laughs> so you know here's the deal we we do okay right but if it gets a tight spot that gets a little challenging so uh, with obstacles with like obstacles trees, trees rocks. Uh, obstacles in front where no swing can be an issue and so we're hoping that what we learned today uh, we'll be able to um, navigate that without getting frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take you guys along with us today. Uh, we're in Pima County Fairgrounds, just south of Tucson, Arizona. And this is the Family Motor Coach Association's biannual convention. Yep. FMCA is what they go by. Uh, we're excited to be here. We're gonna be here all week. Uh, and we're gonna be showing you guys different things uh, around the convention all week, including, what are we doing? My favorite time is going to be Friday at 1 o'clock. Work camping in a national park seminar. Yeah, so we're going to do a presentation, right? Yeah. And uh, we're going to show you guys some of that. Uh, but for right now, we got to get over to class and uh, learn how to back an RV. Let's do it. Okay. The instructors came out and picked us up at our RV and took us to the classrooms. Imagining and trying to, in your mind, establish where you want those tires to go. So the first thing is to identify the key wheel and We didn't do too much filming inside the classroom. This is a paid RV driving school, and we didn't want to infringe on any of their trade secrets. Turn the steering wheel to the left to an extreme. This is a little bit less. And this I use to support the spot that you want to go backwards. Now slow the vehicle down. Next gesture. Move your vehicle forward. 
Hand gestures are absolutely imperative. Come on, Valerie. Next one. Okay. And this is a teaser, just a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit in that direction. And of course the office. We're back from our class. Uh, about 45 minutes seminar. Yep. What did you learn? I learned the hand signals. No more She's cell been... phones or walkie-talkies. <laughs> We're just going to do the hand signals. She's been doing this to me for years. <laughs> or do the do the stop. Full stop. Oh. Yep. So <laughs> We're calming the nerves. Right. Yeah. So uh, we did the classroom, and then this afternoon we do the actual backing. So we're going to do the backing yeah. uh, in a parking lot with cones. Yeah. And uh, we're going to try to get some footage of that. We'll see how that works out. Um, I learned that I'm not supposed to say, what are you doing? What the H-E <laughs> double hockey sticks are you doing? Not that I ever <laughs> say that. No. Never. God forbid. But I did learn that I'm supposed to be in your sight the whole time. And that yeah. we don't do. We kind of depend on the walkie-talkies and the camera right? Uh, for you to see me. Right. So we're yeah. going to try this out. So, yeah, um, you know, uh, we're, we're still going to target pull-through sights. I don't care how much I learn because, <laughs> you know, why back if you don't have to? What did you learn? I learned uh, to always choose a left-hand turn in sight so uh, you want to be able to have your backing to the left as opposed to the right um, also I learned the hand on the bottom of the I was impressed by that yeah that uh, you put your right hand and if you're going to go to that left hand you on the bottom of the steering wheel you go this way and then when you're straightening it up you put it on the top and you go to the this way uh, you know, just a little trick. I thought they were going to kind of um, tell you kind of like what you learned in police training. Like just fingertips like that. Yeah. So I was kind of impressed that they say yeah. this. We're going to try it. Yeah. So uh, we're going to go do the training this afternoon. We're going to take you guys along with us. It's going to be fun. But we're... The expert instructors patiently guided students both in motor coaches and fifth wheels and other trailers throughout the day. We found they were patient and knowledgeable and very informative on tips and tricks on how to back your fifth wheel or any other RV into a space, both at a 90 degree angle, a straight line, or those 45 degree angle slips. We started with just some simple backing exercises, pulling forward, staying within the cones, and just slowly backing up. Learning where to put your hands to make minor adjustments while trying to back in a straight line. See, okay, so I'm left-handed. Okay. So I, 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 I guess I gotta stump break myself. Of... Not really, I mean, you can do it with e either hand, but. Just remember, uh... And yes, we were near a speedway and they went at it like that all day. Back and forth we went several times until we got real comfortable with the basic skills of going backwards in a straight line. And this is stuff you can practice in a parking lot and we plan on doing that. Okay, so now we're going to do some backing and parking. Okay, so what we're going to have you do... Okay, you go stop. Okay. Again, this is because every trailer and truck combination is different as far as where you're going to set up and right. then the turning radius. So I'm going to try, try from this spot. I want you to turn your wheels all the way to the right. And now I want you to go out, out of 45. My goal is to get the trailer wheels somewhere in this area. Okay. Turning. Okay, now straighten it out. Now come 
back towards me. More, harder, all the way. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, now stop. Okay. Okay, now straighten your wheels out. back end moving as fast as you want, right. then just steer um, you know, steer that way and that'll bring the nose of the truck more so there's more of a push. Got it. They give you some of the basic skills to set your RV up in the right position to make that pivot into the spot. We practice multiple times in and out, making minor adjustments to get your rig square into the spot. We found the RV driving school is beneficial to learning some of the tips and tricks of backing an RV into an RV spot. That being said, we're still looking for pull-throughs. <sighs> so, it, not a real long day, but kind of a, we had a wait in between our backing class um then uh we showed you the practical backing what'd you think did you learn anything yeah learned a lot most of all like slow patience stop readjust <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you know there was just some little tricks that uh, we learned to do and um yes yeah, VS. And, uh, you know, a lot of RVers talk about, you know, coming in and then doing kind of a weave. Uh, but I was always ending here instead of straightening it back up to the road. And that way, as soon as you start your back up, it's pushing it already into the, into the site. Um, and I just simplified that, but it was pretty simple. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you know, here's the deal. We spent about an hour backing. You know, I'm a better backer, maybe. Yeah, because I learned some tricks. But it's an ongoing thing, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, so the driving school, highly recommend it. Um, we did the backing portion. They do a whole uh, driving uh, school as well for... Uh, travel trailers and uh, motorhomes, A class, B class, whatever. Um, we found it very informative and we're glad we took this Saturday, Miss Terry's day off, 
to learn how to be better RVers. <laughs> <laughs> and not to fight in the campground. Well, you We've know what? We've never done that. Yeah, we, we never do that. <laughs> um, key takeaway also is, you know, um, finding that kind of calm. Yeah. And staying in that, that calm. Because yeah. um, when you're in a tight spot with, you know, your truck and your motor home and your whole life's in there. It's your spouse. Yeah, and, and your spouse is yelling at you. <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> I only said it once. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, it can get stressful. So just kind of find the calm. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It's also okay. Um, they recommended that if you're not getting it, you pull out of that, you go all the way around, come at, you know, leave the campground if you got to, come back in, whatever, to resituate, reevaluate, take a deep breath. And I think that's something uh, at our last RV spot prior to here. We should have done. We should have done. They put us in a. So. Also, they uh, suggest the left, because then you can see your spotter. Yeah, and I never really thought about that. So, uh, always backing in to the left, not the right. Um, you know, that's not always going to be possible, but when possible. And I don't know about other people. And, you know, leave us a comment. I hunt down, pull through, and 45 degree uh, back in spots. And now I'm going to hunt down left turn oh. or left back. I thought you were going to say 90 degree. Yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> hell no. A hard pass. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, a 90 degree back end spot is hard on your axles, hard on your tires, um, hard on your on marriage. on cement. I was just like, oh, you're just grinding. Yeah. That. So, uh, pro tip, uh, when you're booking these sites, you know, if you can get a pull through, get a pull through. If you can get a 45, get a 45. If that's your jam. It, yeah. I mean, maybe. If you're in a motor home, I think it's a little bit different. If you're in a fifth wheel. It's our jam. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's the only place, then you make then you make the best of it. Yeah. We have those tools now a little bit better. We can do that 90 degree back Can't end. wait. But I use Google Earth. I try to go to their website, look for uh, uh, the yeah. map. And other campers pictures RV life is really good at that Mm -hmm. so help each other out as far as in the RV world when you leave a spot leave a review on RV life on the app so others can see your parking spot the accommodations um, and uh, they can choose to pass or hey this is a good good park and they ask what type of equipment you're driving on RV life and all that stuff so we got a really cool week here at the FMC Family Motor Coach Association convention here in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, we're not going to show you everything, but we're going to show you as many things as we possibly can. Yeah. So we're going to have fun. So we're going to leave you with this video, um, just focusing on the backing. So we'll see you on our next backing adventure.